welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to assign a driver and also dispatch them. The difference between assigning and dispatching is assigning will simply put their name on the reservation, but not actually notify them that you've done that. This allows you to plan ahead of time without confusing the driver as to what's going on. So let's go ahead and assign a driver from the dashboard, which is this page. We'll go ahead and select in the driver column, Jane Anderson. You'll notice that their name appears on both the segment one, so 8.30 to 9.30 a.m. and also 2.30 to 3.30. And that's because we have set this reservation on the booking editor page to be the same driver for the way there and also the way back, so both segments. But we can change that if we want to. Uh, if you wanted to split one booking into having two different drivers, one for the way there, one for the way back, you could definitely do that. It's very easy to do. Um, so we've gone ahead selected Jane Anderson as the uh, driver. Now let's go ahead and get them dispatched from this page. Just click that uh, dispatch button. Now you'll notice that their name appears in red, which means that you've dispatched them, but they've not actioned it, meaning that they will receive an email and also a text message if you've set up the Twilio SMS integration, letting them know that they've been dispatched to this trip. Once they action it by rejecting the trip, their name would disappear from this and you'd be notified. But if, if they accept the trip, then their name will automatically appear in green, just like you see here. Another way that you could go ahead and dispatch them would be from the booking summary page, which is this page, which gives you an overview of the trip. You'll notice here it says to be decided. So let's do the same thing. Let's select Jane Anderson and dispatching them. It's just a matter of clicking dispatch. Now you've up dispatched them. You can go ahead and update them as well if something comes up. Let's go ahead and change this back to to be decided. Now let's select edit for this reservation and we'll show you what it looks like if you are, uh, if you select the uh, toggle as different for vehicles, for the question vehicles and vehicle and drivers are the same for all segments. So select different. Now you can see you can select a different vehicle and a different driver for each one of the segments. So let's go ahead and save that reservation. Now we can go ahead and put Jane Anderson on segment one. So that would be the 8.30 to 9.30 portion of the trip. And then we could for segment two, the 2.30 to 3.30, maybe Jane Anderson is off her shift. Let's go ahead and put John Doe and then we can dispatch, let's say Jane Anderson, but we wanna hold off for now on dispatching John Doe. We can do that. This would, uh, by doing this, Jane Anderson will receive her dispatch email and text if you've set that up, uh, but John Doe, because he's only assigned to the trip, he would have no knowledge. But when you're ready, go ahead and hit that dispatch button and you're good to go. So as you can see, it's uh, very easy to dispatch uh, the uh, assign and also dispatch your drivers. Uh, there's several other locations that you can do this from the schedule page if you wanted. Um, so uh, we've, we try and encompass these features throughout the system, um, but have them all function in the same manner. Uh, that way there's fluidity. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out anytime.